Hi there, this is Vahid from VRF Education channel and today we are going to continue our discussion on custom widgets and how to create plugins for Qt Creator. By plugins, we are able to add new widgets or new custom widgets to Qt Creator standard widget box and then completely design our UI at design time. In some cases, if we are not using plugins, so we need to design a part of our UI at runtime. For example, imagine this is a widget, not a combination of three different uh, widgets, such as QLabel, uh, QLineEdit, and QPushButton. It's just a, a new custom widget uh, that used for selecting a file. If we don't want to use plugins, we need to create a widget for this purpose, and then at runtime, we need to create an instance of this widget and add it to our UI. So, by using plugins, we can add this widget at design time and receive the final result before running the application. This is much more acceptable for me, personally. So, in previous session, we have talked about the basic concepts and principle of uh, creating custom widgets and plugins for Qt Creator, and we use a simple sample. But today, we are going to use, and uh, it's better to say, we are going to create a useful widget a file selector widget for our application and also I'm gonna push it on my uh, github repository so we can use it in your application also this widget is very useful and uh, widely used in most of desktop applications in Qt uh, environments so most of the time we need to select a file for example for logging purposes for uh, saving setting purposes and uh, some uh, stuff like this so we need to have this kind of uh, widget uh, in our application if we don't use a file selector widget, we need to add three different widgets, a label, a line edit, and also a button to open QOpen file dialog. And then uh, we need to select the files and uh, set it inside the line edit and also do some other stuff like this. But using this widget, you're, all, uh, you're just going to uh, drag and drop it on the form where you need to use it. And you don't need to worry about all the other things. So let's go and see how we can create this custom widget and also add it to Qt Creator standard widget box. Okay, let's see what we will have at the end of this session. If uh, we do all the steps inside this session together till the end of the session, we will have a custom widget inside our Qt Creator standard toolbox. I added inside a group named VRF Education Widgets. And this group uh, will be contain uh, all the widgets uh, that I created in this tutorial. So this is a file selector. What is file selector? If you drag and drop it on your form, this is a complex widget uh, that contains three inner widgets, a label, a line edit, and a button. So sometimes we need to select some files inside our application and it's somehow, it's not a, a, um, a very complicated task, but it's tedious to put these items in, uh, in the form and try to align them, lay out them, open a file dialog, check uh, the file existence and other stuff. So you can also change uh, the properties for this widget here. For example, you can change the caption. For, uh, I'm going to change it to output, for example. The label will be changed. And also you can set the path at uh, design time, the path. If the path is not valid, the background of uh, the widget will be turned into red. But if it's valid, for example, I'm going to choose a slash uh, home, slash VRF. Let's grab, grab it from here, and a.txt. This is a valid file. So if the file uh, is valid and if the file exists and it's a valid or it's a file, then the background will be removed. Otherwise, it will turn into red. And also, you can uh, set the filter option. I will uh, show it. Where is it? And the also dialog caption. This is by default. Select the text file. Let's run the application. And I forgot to uh, show you. You can, uh, you can also add as many as uh, items that you need on the form, and also you can add them all into layout. This is just like an ordinary widget. Okay. And uh, let's run the application. If I change the, the file, for example, I go to document folder, I'm going to choose B. So you can see, uh, change all upload or the selected file will be appeared in this line edit. And also you can choose another one. We are not interfere each other. Each one has its own uh, uh, line edit, and uh, you can change it separately. And also, and also, when a file selected, a signal will be emitted. What does it mean? So I'm gonna attach a signal from this widget to this label. 
the, uh, the signal is file selected and the path to the file also passed with the signal. So I'm going to use the set text here. If you change the file or if you select the file, the file path will be uh, shown in this widget also. Now let's also add it here. That's enough. Let's run the application one more time. So I'm going to select beta.txt for the first one. Okay, beta.txt and also beta.txt appeared inside the label. And for the second one, I'm going to choose a.txt. So it appeared here and also here because we connected that signal and to the settings slot of the label. So this is the way that uh, we're going to use uh, this widget inside uh, our forms or dialogues at design time, not runtime. We can create this uh, item inside our application as a custom library and try to instantiate and add it at runtime. It's a very common task, but we need to know how to do it at design time. Okay, let's go to Qt Creator and create this project. Let's see how it works. Okay, let's see how we can create a plugin for this custom widget and use it inside Qt Creator at design time. I want to emphasize one more time, if you're not familiar with the basic concepts of uh, creating plugin for Qt Creator, at first go and watch uh, the first video or the previous video on this playlist and then continue back on this one. To start, we need to create a project uh, for this plugin, just like all other products that we create software for them. But this time, we need to choose a specific template. Inside other project part or other project uh, option, we should use Qt Custom Designer widget. Using this option, Qt will show a wizard to us and uh, then we uh, enter some name inside uh, that wizard and we will see it uh, very soon. And then Qt Creator creates all the codes, uh, all the basic codes we need to create the plugins and we can focus on the widget itself, not uh, dealing with the plugin codes. Okay, so this is going to help us a lot. Let's press choose. Here, yeah, I need to specify a name. I'm going to choose V file uh, selector project. This is the project itself. And here, um, pay attention to choose the compiler compatible with your current Qt Creator. What does it mean? Let's go to um, about Qt Creator. Here, as, I, as you can see, Qt Creator version 8.0.2 are based on Qt version 6.3.2. Okay. So if I choose this kit, this uh, widget or this plugin won't uh, load inside the Qt Creator, uh, Qt Creator environment. So you should choose uh, the, perf uh, the proper or uh, some related compiler to compile this project. So I choose this one and go into the next part. Here we need to choose a name for widget classes. I'm going to choose V file selector one more time, selector. And here we have two type of uh, data. First one is the widget class itself. Here we have a inner project, uh, a PRI file, and also header and CPP file for V file selector. This is the main file for this widget. So we should add all the logic, add, uh, uh, add all the UI things we need to uh, have inside uh, this widget inside these files. Okay. And here we have two files related to the plugin. Plugin classes. It's, a, uh, it's um, some sort of metadata. It provides some information about the widgets for Qt Creator. So by using these two class, uh, these two files or this class, V file selector plugin, we provide information for Qt Creator how to load it, where to put uh, this widget inside the standard widget box and uh, the other stuff that we will see it very soon. And also we can choose an icon for this uh, widget. I don't have any right now, so I'm gonna choose this name again and I'm gonna change the file name here to something like this. It's much more readable for me. And also, I'm gonna change this one here. And um, let's go to description tab. Here you should choose a name or a group uh, that uh, to load the widget inside it. Group all those groups that is inside the widget uh, standard toolbox. We will see it very soon. I'm gonna choose VRF education widgets and also we can provide tooltips and what's this and some other stuff like this so let's get rid of them uh, for now and i will uh, go uh, for the other type of widget or container widget in future in much uh, better or more complex uh, examples okay 
here I'm gonna change the name one more time so that is the for icon uh cute resource file we don't have an icon right now and that's it finish so here you can see we have uh, one inner project v file selector that contains that's uh, the environment compiler project so here uh, we have an inner project a pri file that only contains header and source parts and here uh, the widget uh, class or the v file selector widget class it is empty right now but outside the inner project we have two files v file selector plugin this uh, class v file selector plugin inherit from q design a custom widget interface so if you want to load uh, a widget or a plugin inside the Qt creator we need to inherit from this class and also using these uh, micros this uh, class provides uh, some uh, some uh, virtual functions so we need to implement them and using uh, these uh, methods we provide information about uh, the new custom widget for Qt creator let's see what are these methods about okay let's go to cpp file and see what we provide for Qt creator i'm gonna uh, check this method in detail in the next session because uh, this method is used for some other advanced topics such as uh, providing context menu and also some dialogues for this custom widget at uh, design time so here it says to the Qt creator when you want to create a widget from uh, for this plugin just uh, create an instance of v file selector this is the main widget that we are going to develop very soon so this is an instance that we can drag and drop on the uh, form in uh, Qt creator at design time this is the name of uh, uh, the name of uh, the widget that we provide for the Qt creator this is the group where we want to put the widget inside in Qt creator the icon so we don't have an icon right now this is a tooltip let's enter some tooltip this uh, widget is used to select a file in your computer and also you can provide what is this this can be used when uh, a user wants to get information about this widget at runtime we don't have uh, any things to do with this container right now we will uh, check it in future and also it's a DOM XML uh, string so we can change uh, the class and also the file name uh, the instance name template if you want here but we don't uh, want to change uh, this default template right now and this is the basic implementation for plugin so we don't have uh, to do anything right now in plugin files we will do in the next session when we want to provide context menu for our custom widget plugins let's close all the files and go directly to this inner project and create uh, file selector plugins although we can uh, create all the widgets inside this uh, custom widgets in code I prefer to do it in uh, UI mode so I'm gonna add another item just uh, design a form to this inner project okay it's a widget so the name is uh, v selector file v selector v file selector I'm sorry v file selector same as the h file and cpp file and I want to put it inside the inner project v file selector selector it's the file v file selector maybe oh we don't have any mm, folder here we can just add it to the project and then i'm gonna add it to let's see where cute creator added yeah it's okay it's uh the wait a minute here I'm gonna change the name of the form to v file selector. It should be the same name as the H file or the or the class that we designed for this custom widgets. It's necessary to do that. So uh, also we should do uh, a couple of things inside uh, the H file and CPP file. We will do it very soon. Here we have a label, and then after that, oops, these are some custom widgets I created already. You're not supposed to see them. And uh, here we have a line edit and a push button. 
So this is by default a uh, file. I'm going to use choose file for this one and I'm going to change the name to LDL caption. The name for this one is uh, LN file path. And also for this one, I'm going to use dot 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 and change the name also to BTN browse. Browse. And I'm going to align them using a horizontal layout. And also because um, it's not necessary, I'm going to reduce the amount of uh, margin for every part. So this is okay. And also for this one, let's change because if uh, right now we just uh, it's okay, but it's, it's a little bit large. I'm gonna change it to it's right now 80 pixel. I'm gonna change it to, for example, maximum size, maximum size to with let's see 50 is enough. Yeah, maybe 40. Let's uh, get back to 50. And that was iDeo software for protecting your eye. I'm going to pause it for an hour. So this is it. Okay, let's see um, what we need to do. In order to attach this UI file to the H file uh, and also the CPP file, we need to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to create a namespace here. Namespace. So just like the other uh, template file that you create using um, Qt Creator. Here I'm going to create. Um, I'm going to declare the class name. It's class. It's for what declaration? V file. V file selector. Selector. And I'm going to create private section here private section and inside it I'm gonna use from uh, UI namespace choose the file selector and create asterisk UI it's an instance of a v file selector class and next we need to go to um, header file here I'm gonna include the UI file created, a uh, header file created by Qt Creator for this uh, specific widget, uviselector.h. And uh, here we need to instantiate uh, that UI variable using this notation new UI colon colon or scope variable UI file upload. And finally, we need to call UI setup, uh, setup UI this, and let's also create this tractor. A file selector and delete UI instance inside the constructor. Let's compile it and see the output. Is there anything wrong? So everything is just okay, and we can uh, we can uh, we connect the UI file with the uh, class file or CPP file. It's okay. Uh, and let's see what should we do on next. Next thing is to um, create a slot for this click or for this push button click button. When this button click, I want to show. Uh, an open uh, file dialog and select a queue file dialog for uh, opening a file and select the file from uh, one specific path. Okay, so this is here. I'm gonna create a variable named file path equal to queue file dialog. Queue file dialog. Let's also add the header file here. So I'm gonna call the get open file name okay get open file name because uh, i'm gonna use just one file you also has get file names but uh, here we're going to use this one so what is the parent we can pass this 
also we can pass the parent call to the parent and then we need to choose a title select for example a text file also we can uh, provide some properties for these uh, captions and also the file types we will do it very soon so user uh, are able to, def uh, to uh, set or define values for these uh, items in uh, Qt Creator at design time and the next parameter is where to look for I'm going to choose slash home and then what kind of file you're looking for right now I'm going to use text file okay and after that I'm gonna let's see what is oops it's we should cast uh, let's just pass this for right now and then we will change it and then after after we get back from the open file dialog we can set ui dot ln uh, ln file path dot set text to file path so this is the basic functionality we need to uh, have for this widget let's see the result and then come back and uh, complete this widget i compiled it let's open the file output we need to do a couple of uh, copying things this is the output uh, folder let's open it so here are the output and we have a libv file selector plugin here and also you need to open uh, this path where Qt installed and go to tools directory kit creator lib Qt plugins designer you should copy this uh, uh, so file to this folder also i don't know why when we add install a uh, parameter inside the build inside the, the project uh, window it didn't work and it copied the file to a wrong path i have no idea about it and if you have any idea about this please just let me know and i'm gonna uh, delete all these custom plugins and just paste it here okay this is just the uh, custom plugin inside the Qt creator let's see how we can use it in Qt creator okay i opened a sample project some predefined some pre-created project named untitled 5 and if you are going to uh, one uh, ui file here you can see a new group added here vrf education widgets if you the if you don't see this uh, part just go to tools and then form editor open or uh, choose about good designer plugins here just press refresh and this process will load all the custom widgets or all the plugins you placed inside the designer folder for you okay now you can just drag and drop any instance of that custom widget on your uh, window and also you can add them to uh, layouts and anything uh, that is uh, related to QWidget things inside the Qt Creator so what if I want to run the application something went wrong oops uh, there's another thing I need to take care because it's a pre-created project let's get rid of this one Oh, not this one let's uh, let's see where did I use I don't use yeah this let's create this one and let's also get rid of this dialog or oh, let's go to main menu okay nothing let's run it one more time build one qmate and compile it one more time okay it says uh we are a selector v file selector no such for li or, or file directory orientation push button is just another widget whereas yeah it's on this one let's delete all the thing inside this dialog okay if i compile it one more time we have only one error v file selector no such file or directory 
Okay, we add we file selector to our Qt creator, but our project doesn't know anything about this custom widget. We need to add a small file and also the header file to this project also. So let's um, get back here, copy uh, this SO file, and also one more time. Gotta open this one. Let's create a lib folder. We have one here. I'm going to delete all the files here and paste it. Lib file selector. And also we need to copy the edge file because all C++ programs need header file to know about the content of the library or the class we need uh, to use. And where we can find it? It's here. So we need to copy, just copy this file, we file selector and paste it here. And now we should go to uh, we file, no, to the other project untitled file. I'm gonna add, open the, the profile, go to the end and right click and set add library. So it's an external library. Where's the path? Uh, library file is located inside the, where is it? Project. Maybe V file, no, untitled file, it's for untitled file. Yeah, it's here, untitled file, lead, and uh, this is the SO file, and also the header file or include path will be here. I don't need to support Mac or Windows right now because I'm running on Linux Windows. And yeah, this is it. So let's run the application one more time. Oops, there are lots of uh, things happen. Let's run QMake. We're about to do it, I think. Yeah, and let's compile it one more time. No, something went wrong. Declaration. Let's see what we should do. So, because I choose uh, this name for, let's get back to UI. Because I choose uh, this name, we file selector. Uh, for the widget class and also for the instance, it's gonna make some trouble for me. So if I change it right now to one and the others are two, three, and I want to, and I uh, should change it uh, in the plugin classes uh, at the other project. Let's see the output and then we get back here to uh, correct the error. So this is because of that. The name of the instance and the name of uh, um, class are the same. It's, uh, Comment this one and run it one more time. So this is the file widget that I just uh, drag and drop on the form. And if I press the button, you can see a window appeared and we look for text file. Now I'm going to create some text file. Let's see how where I can create them inside the document. I'm going to create a text file. Create new text file A dot txt and then let's create also e.txt let's get back and run the application one more time now I'm going to um, where PRF documents you can see we have two uh, um, text file here if I choose one the path will be applied or will be copied or will be set inside this line edit and for the next one, I also add, I also choose uh, beta.txt. So again, this one also set with the new file. So you can choose different files for different widgets without any uh, interfering uh, with the other ones. So let's add a couple of uh, functionalities to um, this widget uh, to be able to set the name uh, for the caption and also set the path at, run, at, uh, at design time and uh, also set the file extension we are looking for at design time let's do that okay let's open the other project yeah this is the other one and first of all i'm going here so i'm gonna change the name from uh, uh, v file selector to file selector every instance that's added to a form the name will be uh, changed to file selector not v file selector this is it and then after that, I'm going to create some fields inside the, inside the 
the v file selector class okay first one is the caption okay send a string a string um underline caption and also the other one is for the path a string underline path and underline um filter and also dialog caption And also, I want to provide a signal when a file is selected. Maybe you want to do something uh, in your application. So I'm going to emit a signal. Signal. Void uh, file selected. These are the things uh, that we need to add to our class. So let's also create a, a bunch of uh, setter and getter for these properties and also add uh, properties for these fields. You know, um, if you uh, watched the previous session, you might already know when you want to work with the fields inside one widget, we need to create properties for them. So Qt Creator are able to work with the object fields using these properties. So this is property window. So we need to provide property for this widget. Here I'm gonna use the Qt Creator wizard. I'm gonna uh, add uh, add which one generate constant or generate? Let's see what does it create for us. Yeah, it creates uh, a property named same as uh, the field without underscore at the beginning, and also create two uh, setter and getter, setter and getter uh, functions, and uh, a signal when the property changed, uh, it, the signal will be emitted, and the other uh, maybe know about uh, this one. Uh, and the thing here is that when we change one property inside the property window of Qt Creator, this method will be called. And also when we want to read the values, this method will be called again. So, um, LPL caption in the set part, I'm gonna also change the LBL caption that set uh, text to new to underline caption. Let's run the application here one more time. I want to check something. If I press this one, it's uh, this is the dialog caption. Okay, it's a selected text file. I'm going to change it. And let's do um, let's do a couple of things here. First of all, I'm going to call set caption and path the file or predefined uh, caption here. It already set inside the designer, but I'm gonna also set it. Or oh, uh, we don't need this one. I'm gonna return ui.lbl caption.txt. I'm not gonna create extra parameter for this one. And also the text address. Let's uh, get rid of. This part. Okay. And for this one, I'm not going to check or uh, assign the new caption to something. I'm just gonna new caption. I'm just gonna set it inside the label. And okay, let's mm, caption chain signal be here. I'm not gonna delete it. For the others, let's check the other one. Set a dialog caption. Set. I forgot to add. Let's also add a couple of setter and getter for this one. And this one. And this one. Then I'm going to call them in constructor set dialog caption. And let's cut this one and paste it here. And when we want to use it, I'm going to use dialog caption method. For the next one, we have a filter set um, filter. Again, I'm going to this one 
paste it here and again select filter or call filter method here and finally created a path when we okay let's let's get back here in the path I'm gonna also add this path to the line edit using set text method new path so this is it and 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 I think for now and also let's uh and also let's let's uh, emit the file selected file selected signal here so let's compile it and see if there's an error or not okay everything everything is okay and let's do the copy things i'm gonna copy this so file to lips folder yeah we'll write it and also to design folder we'll write and i'm gonna I'm gonna change the header file also to uh, copy the header file also to the lips folder. Let's close this and open it one more time to be sure that all the changes applied. So the rating, waiting, waiting. Oh, this is on title 5 let's go to main window let's get rid of all of them I'm gonna drag and drop another instance so we can see we have a couple of uh, widgets here I'm gonna change it to for example um, output output you can see everything changed simultaneously and also for dialog caption I'm gonna use um, select an output file and for path we can enter something for example uh, slash home slash uh, documents slash a.txt okay if I run the application you can see all the things are all the changes are applied and if I open the file dialog it says select an output file and uh, we are looking for a text file so this is the text file that, uh, that, we, are, that uh, we are looking for so let's do another thing I'm going to change the out uh, this one is code file and I'm going to look for cpp file here and let's uh, let's uh, add let's add a label on the form so I forgot to send the file the text or the file path with the signal let's let's do it and then get back here so i'm gonna provide the file name signal or file selected pure string and then here i'm gonna um, file path I'm gonna send the selected file path through this uh, signal so we can um, grab it without need to uh, call any other functions in uh, other projects so let's copy this one paste it one once here and also here and also I'm gonna copy the view file selector to the lips folder okay let's close this close this one and open it one more time so and then on title 5 the main window let's delete this one and I'm gonna add a label here so I'm gonna create a signal and a slot in Qt Creator if the file selected signal emitted set it to set text okay this is it let's uh let's also make it a little bit bigger to see 
all the text inside the queue label i'm gonna choose from documents a text file so you can see the things uh, all the changes are applied and right now i can see uh, the selected file here so if i press cancel then you can see uh, the, the previous selected file will be gone this is an error or this is something that we don't uh, expect it let's get back to here and you can check it if file path dot length or equal to zero it means that Well, let's uh, say it's uh, greater than zero it means that some file selected so we can set it inside your ln file path and also emit the related signal let's compile it one more time and see the effect at a runtime okay i'm gonna paste it delete Copy, paste, write, paste, paste this one and paste it. Okay. And also copy the H file. Maybe the H file is not necessary, but paste, where is the paste? Copy and paste one time. And let's close the test project. And run it one more time. Title five. I'm going to oops delete this one and let's grab another file. Selector. If the file selected signal limited connected to set text. Okay. And let's see the result. I'm going to choose uh, ada.txt from here and you can see the signal limited but if I just press cancel nothing happened so because no file selected in that window and uh, you can also add some uh, colorizing things uh, in, inside the custom widget if the file is not exist for, for example I'm going to change it to c.txt first of all you can disable this uh, line edit uh, widget to prevent the user changing the current path or the selected path but uh, you can have uh, uh, made changes inside the, the widget when the user changed this uh, path you can check for the existence of the file and if the file does not exist change the color to red or if it exists change it to green or uh, let it uh, um, be just as the default something like this this is the thing if you're uh, let's add it let, let, let's do it let's do it I'm gonna I'm gonna add a style sheet here let's just add it to the widget itself should push or let's uh, name it directly lm file path if it has a property name for example is valid equal to zero then change the background to red something like this okay so if i create a property a custom property or a dynamic property here named is valid is valid and change it to zero you can see the background turned to red so let's uh, reset it and after the file select uh, after the file changed let's do another thing i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna cut these two lines and add them inside the path yeah we add them right here okay let's emit the file selected or the new path here also and after dialog after the press open and file dialog we can just uh, call the third pass with the file path variable so it changed it's going to check everything for me 
now I'm gonna check if the file exists uh, if the file does not exist change the background color of the line edit or set a property for that here I'm going to create an instance of uh, Q file info name it info and let's um, also set the path for this one set the new path new path and I'm going to check if info info uh, exist and exist all the default uh, overload and info dot is file so it's not a directory one of them let's uh, see if it's not exist or it exists but it's not a file then I'm gonna uh, add a property or set a property inside the LM file path the property is, is valid is valid and the value is zero okay otherwise okay let's uh, move it to move it here and I'm gonna create it's valid to one if it's not exist or it's not a file change the is valid to uh, zero and then here just set it for And here we need to uh, polish this widget uh, one more time so we need to uh, run or call the polish method from let's include your style dot uh, polish and path the ui dot lm file path here I don't know why but if we are out of the constructor and we want to change the style sheet using a property mechanism it doesn't work we need to polish it one more time but we, if we did it inside the constructor we don't need to polish the um, widget uh, anymore this is uh, something that I realized maybe uh, you have another approach uh, to handle this situation let's build the application and copy the file the output file to the designated folder I'm gonna copy this one to lips and to designer I'm not sure that's yeah it's okay and also in file selector I'm gonna paste the brief file dot h here now let's close the test application and run it one more time let's see what's happened I'm going to choose a.txt okay everything is okay I'm going to change it to C oops it's not working let's see why let's grab another folder and I'm gonna it's okay right now let's run it and works okay what if I change it to Q okay okay I forgot to add uh, I forgot it completely um, I forgot to add text change Put the slot text changed uh, and also set path here with the arc one and one more thing if I delete if the text also if the path if um, path dot length greater than zero I want to check it uh, to be exist and uh, it should be a file now let's move this path equal to one to the top by default it's true and here we check it's new path not the path 
and we check if the, the path exists and uh, it's also is file so we don't change the uh, this value but if one of these options is not true then we change it to zero okay let's build it one more time and also i'm gonna close this one You need to, so we don't need to run, we just need to compile it, yeah. Let's delete these two files and copy this one, one time. Paste it here and the other one here. Copy this one and paste it here. Oops, I closed the designer folder. It's very hard to open it and I think we don't have anything to do with that folder anymore. Let's delete this one and add it one more time on the form here if I press something you can see this file is not really true but if I delete it it gets back to the normal um, situation and if I run the application um, let's see something went wrong we are a selector that a file selector Oops, I forgot to paste it here. Not inside the document folder. So everything is okay. I'm gonna choose text file from document. It's okay. And if I just change it to Q, it says it's not true. Okay. But if I change it to A.txt by hand, it says it's okay. The file exists. So this is it, a file select uh, widget that you can uh, use it inside your project um, with some customized property and also a signal when the file uh, uh, when the file selected you can be aware in the other part of your application. I hope you enjoyed this video and also use this uh, widget inside your application. Let me know your opinion about uh, this video and also this widget in the comment section. Till the next section and see how we can create a collection of custom widgets with one project. Uh, goodbye.